happened, the Lord took me straight away and traveled down to the east. And I see myself in, this, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the eastern part of the country. That began to ask a question, what am I doing here? And the Lord said, the same thing happening in Yoruba land is going to happen in the eastern part of Nigeria. Where there's going to be what is called a strong unity. And I see in the realm of the spirit, I see some governor said, oh, we cannot tolerate these people now to come and be the ones to dictate what will happen, to decide what will be. We have been in the power before now. And the Lord said, no, the, the, the boat has changed. The journey has turned around. There is what is called a regional turnaround. And this regional turnaround, I begin to look at, okay, let it be what is called the southeastern governors and the southeastern leaders having this meeting and coming together to follow up all these things. And the Lord said, no. The person that I see in the realm of the spirit, the leader that become the delight of the people is Mazi Namdekano. The leader of the people, not just the people, to extend that even the governors now come and prostrate and follow the man Namdekano. I'm not prophesying to please anybody, but I say what is in the realm of the spirit written clear because shaking is going to come. Shaking, strong shaking, because the warnings, the messages. The revelations, the, the, the words and the things already given to the country has not been taken. And with this, the Northern has also said, no, we are also going to unite. And a fresh leader was brought about for the people to follow in the North. The Lord said, all these things happening is not happening because of one thing or the other. It is happening because there is a need for God to reshuffle. I said, what is God reshuffling? He said, God wants to reshuffle because the destiny and the gifts in this country are wasting. The gifts, the destiny, the career, what God has endowed the people in the country is wasting. I asked, why is it wasting? The Lord opened my eyes and said, it's wasting because nobody is harnessing the human resources. Because the human resources is what they makes the nation or makes the people great. And when the human resources are not taken care of or considered, now it becomes what is called a, 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 a scuttling or a destruction of vision. Because the Bible says where there is no vision, the people what? Perish. Why do the people perish? They perish because where there is no vision, the people will not have anything to follow. And the people will not have anywhere to move forward. He said, destinies are being perished. Destinies are marginalized. Stars, gifts are being pressed down. With this alone, God is not happy. And this is the reason why in the realm of the spirit, the next thing I am seeing is a strong referendum. I am seeing the United Nations coming into the country for referendum. I don't know why, but this is a pure referendum. And I see the referendum right there in the eastern part of the country taking first for the referendum. If I talk this way, you might think, oh, this man, what is happening to him? Why is he talking as if he doesn't have a sense? It's not about my sense. Oh, I'm a prophet of God. Oh. I'm not against anybody. Oh. I don't have any enemy. Oh. But one thing is when the spirit calls me to speak what is in the realm of the spirit, I will speak. Thank God it is life. You can always record it and put the date. When it starts happening, you will know that major prophet has prophesied. The major prophet has spoken. Major prophet has declared. And that is what is already happening. Because there's another phase of what I said yesterday. I see a phase of protest. I see a phase of the people agitating. I see a phase of the people rioting. I see a phase of the people marching and rallying. And people marching here and there. And it becomes so great that it is very difficult to handle. I see the month of February ending. I see March. But the Lord said, this is not happening to kill. This is not happening to destroy. This is happening 
for the right thing to be done for the light of the of the people to manifest because the destiny of the people are caged the destiny of the people are hidden under the table because what would have ravaged what would have quickly uh, remedied some of these things that is going to be going on would have been good governance would have been what is called favor would have been the right thing and the thing that's supposed to be done in leadership leadership is not nobody's an island of leadership nobody's an island of leadership anybody can come and do the right thing but when the right thing is not done when there is segregation when there is nepotism when there is neglect when there is marginalization when there is abandonment when there is hatred when there is sidedness a lot of things will happen and I see we are people are now registering, 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 party, party, party. But at the end of it all, it becomes useless. May the Lord help us in the country in the name of Jesus. And let the heaven open for the will of God to be done in our life. Everybody can make a part. You can make an impact. You can bring a change. You can bring a turnaround. You can bring something good. You can be the one that will shine the light. That is gift in everybody. That is somebody. Solution is in every one of us. But we need to listen to ourselves. We need to look at ourselves and say, what is the solution? And this solution is something that we all are going to agree together. When we agree together for solution, we will see the light. We will see the blessings. We will see the favor and we will see ourselves going higher, higher. And we will get to where we are going. And don't forget, I have said it last time. There is no medicine for a dead rat. There is no medication for a dead rat. When a dead rat is gone and is dead, no medication. We have sounded the warning. We have sounded the message. We have sounded the prophecy. We have sounded all these things before now. But there is a total negligence and a total uh, ign ignoring of what we have already said before time. Because I said this thing last year, I say I see the price of commodities flying top top, and I see dollar going up, 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 and I begin to try to draw it down, and the dollar begin to fly, commodities fly, and things fly up, up. We need prayer. That prayer is for the will of God to be done, and these things is as easy as ABC to remedy. When you are ready to offer what is called selfless service, when you are ready to say, oh, somebody from the north, somebody from the south, somebody from the west, we are brothers. And if we are brothers, as it is to me, it is to the person there, and not saying me, myself, and myself, and my family alone. You'll be surprised that the right thing will be in place, and the people will rejoice. Remember what the Bible says? When the righteous man is on the throne, the people rejoice. And when the wicked man is on the throne, the people cry. Who is the righteous man? The righteous man is the person that is ready to serve. The righteous man is the person that is ready to draw people together and unite people together. A righteous man is the person that is ready to open up his hand. Even if there's anybody that seems to be your enemy, you open up and carry everybody along. That is the righteous man. But the person that want to fight, the person that want trouble all the time, kill, destroy, be, bam, 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 bam. The Bible did not accept that. I pray for you. Whenever you're watching me, the light of God will shine in your life. And this victory must be our portion. Why do we need this victory? We need this victory to be able to bring glory to God. We want to use this victory to bring praise to the name of the Lord. We want to use this victory to bring what is called thanksgiving to God. And don't forget that you can always reach us to pray together on the number. And make sure that you are after the victory. Because the victory we get when we are together, praying together, is the highest. And so wherever you are, continue to raise prayer. The will of God must be done. Nothing can stop the will of God. No marginalization, no oppression, no satanic attack, no whatever, whatever can stop the will of God from coming to pass. The will of God must come to pass. The will of God must prevail. The will of God must stand in every ramification, in every area. The will of God must stand. And why do we 
pray for the will of God so that the poor people, the average, the innocent, and the people that ask nobody to speak for them so that their voice can be heard. I pray that the voice of everybody can be heard. Do the right thing. When I say do the right thing, I say everybody can do the right thing. If you can do the right thing. It doesn't cost to do the right thing. When you do the right thing, it's a blessing. It makes people happy. But when the right thing is not done, we are not ready to follow you. We will follow the person that has the right thing to tell us. And at the end, the name of God Almighty will be glorified in Jesus' name. Another thing that is very important we have to look at is what is called open doors in the life of people. There are thousands of people that are crying on daily basis, open door, open door, open door, and it seems that the doors are not opening. Soon, and very soon, the doors you have been praying for the doors to open in your ministry, in your marriage, in your business, in your health, in every area, document, or whatever it is you have been praying for, will definitely open in your life. And this open door, when the door opens, no man can shut the door. No man can close the door. And no man can take away what God is about to do in your life. Because heaven has opened already and can never ever close anymore in Jesus' name. So, Every one of you that is in position right now, you have the opportunity to do the writing. You have the opportunity to write your name. But as for a dead rat, there is no remedy for a dead rat, but the writing must be put in place. And when the writing is put in place, all of us are going to rejoice together and we will surely celebrate together in the name of Jesus. Yes, 